Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Please like, share, subscribe, donate, all that good jazz. And if you want to con contact me, my email is in the description box below. And let's get into it. This is just a random reading. I tried recording this before. Got a little, um, little interference here. So we're just going to... I'm just going to read the cards that's on the table and what I picked up is somebody is abusing pills and this person that's abusing pills have a toxic ego. They feel entitled to your to your, um, to your your energy. They feel entitled to your energy. And I had a family member like that and because we had the same mama and daddy. They don't mean nothing. God is the ruler. The most high God is the ruler of my life and he told me I got to cut it. I got to cut it. <laughs> you feel me? Cut it off. I cut it off in a heartbeat, especially if you toxic and you think I'm gonna be. I'm a diamond, so you think I'm gonna be around you with toxic energy? You, you, you got me messed up because I'm not finna multiply your toxic energy. You're not finna multiply your toxicity over here. So that's a no go. But yeah, they don't want you making money because they feel like if you if you make money, you're gonna fulfill your destiny. That's what they feel like. They if you make money and they want you stressed out. But God said you're unstoppable. They don't want you making money. They want you just to be stuck on them, stuck on dumb, waiting to get dumber. And I'm not saying you dumb, but that's how they see you. You know what I mean? 123 on the clock, let me know that I'm on the right track and everything is what I'm saying is, is what it is. Or it could be an angel number for you, 132. So somebody is definitely manifesting, think, maybe they're manifesting for you not to make money or manifesting for you not to fulfill your destiny and they just want you to spend all your money this is crazy but the angels is here let's see what the angels got to say about this person and they're gonna bring you somebody that's a giver in your life somebody 200 on the clock somebody's gonna end cycles for you um and this person is a giver Oh, it's upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> this person is a giver. Okay. Uh, so I'm hearing this person say, no need to stress. I got you. <laughs> and this person that wants to stop. I'm looking at like three or four different energies here. This person that wants to stop you is crying. And they're stressed because they can't really penetrate your energy like that this person may have an anti-social personality disorder or maybe a social path um yeah this person exploits people or violates others rights Ooh, not so good person right toxic Ugh, no sir no ma'am bye bye <laughs> Bye bye. Like I, I, it's, it's I, like I was in a situation where people want to spread rumors and, and lies, and it's just like you see somebody doing well in their life and thriving, and you want to snatch it down. And it be your own family most of the time. It be people that you have the same mom or the same daddy or same both. And it's just like, but why? <laughs> Anywho, let's see what else I can pick up on in with this energy. This is just a freelance reading, a free reading. Yep, God say you are one with him. You said, I'm trying to tell you. I was going to say something, but they told me to be quiet. See, God is okay with you. Three, three, three on the clock. God, you, you, it, along with God, Father, my body and soul, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, same thing. And you are one with God, but this person wants you to feel like you're not good enough. They're putting the energy, like they're trying to manifest that you're not good enough. This is hypocritical energy. God, you okay with God? God, like, yeah, this person is a Jekyll and, and Hyde person. One minute, it looks so pretty. Uh, somebody's going to go through some burdens after a while. Maybe your enemies are the ones that's trying to create burdens for you. This person is a Jekyll and Hyde, and I feel like they're projecting their energy onto you. Yeah, this person may have a uh, high social status. And it's a family member of yours. I got family, social status, Jekyll and Hyde. So this person is definitely a family, a family minimum. I can't talk right now. A family member of yours. And they do have money. They may be wealthy or may be coming in for money. Or they may be doing this to you for money. Check out how it resonates. Yeah, they're trying to build off your name. That's exactly what they're trying to do. The spirit says it's too late and they're wasting their time because you're a very strong willed person and you're very highly connected to God and the angels. So 
that's a waste of their time what they're doing and the money that they seek is not it's not gonna amount to anything you feel me I'm sorry so fire in here for some reason but it's not gonna amount to anything so it says it's not gonna amount to nothing because of <laughs> like just because you can get money it's not all about the money all the time it's about how you get what you get and if you get it in a wrong or a, a cannot especially against God's people against the ones that he hold in high standard baby it's a wrap for you you get all the money you want <laughs> I guarantee you won't have it on there if you do you won't be locked up in jail I'm trying to tell you whatever however you manifest what you get whether it's consciously or unconsciously baby you won't get it back karma is real and a lot of people out here know their powers, know their strengths, especially on my channel. My 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 collective do. Somebody get nighttime feelings. This is what these nighttime feelings be about. Somebody is jobless and they get nighttime feelings. Why is this person jobless? Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, this person that is getting these nighttime feelings may be this uh, person who uh, is abusing pills and have this uh, antisocial dis disorder because I got this person get nighttime feelings, they're jobless, and not only are they job jobless, they're they're thinking about when they used to, so this is the ex, <laughs> when they used to stare into your eyes, stargazing into your eyes, like you're the apple of their eye, like, um, and there, some type of brainwashing energy is going on here with this person, let's see what this brainwashing energy is before we get too far gone in this, because this is like, Woo. Woo. Yes, this person may have HIV and not be telling somebody or brainwashing people that they don't have HIV or brainwashing people that they're jobless. Well, they're jobless, but brainwashing people that they're not jobless, but basically lying about it. They may have gotten HIV in a vehicle. Yeah, this person likes to control everything and everyone. So this person that brainwashing people. This person had um here in high school, you know, sex. And this person may have gotten um HIV in a vehicle when they were in high school. That's what I'm picking up. And they think it's it's going to take them. Uh, they think like. This person is so twisted. They think miracles basically are wasteful. Like, why would you want to perform a miracle? Like, why would you want to be, like, basically, like, miracles are wasteful energy. That's the way I can put it. This person likes to control, so they definitely are not just having an antisocial personality disorder. They definitely are a narcissist. Yep, and they can't get shit right in their life. Oh, excuse my French, but that's just the way Spirit gave it to me. They can't do shit right. They just can't. <laughs> and if anyone is asking a question about something that answers, yes. It's yes. And so I, get, I heard butterflies, rainbows, star, starlights. Um, yeah, and then I got flying, traveling. So this, okay. So this person may be traveling. You remember by asking something about traveling um, or flying on a plane and the answer is yes. Somebody is unstable and they have to one up you because their mental state is un unstable and they're a taker. 911 on the clock. So somebody needs to be very cautious of this taker, unstable person because they, they believe in like it's a religion for them to one up you. Like it's a religion that you're like they're 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 you know how the Bible is a standard for, for, for most religions and how it's translated through each culture. This person look at you like that standard, like uh whether it's good or bad, whether you good or bad don't matter. This person has an obsession with you and they 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 view you as a standard like somebody's like a religion. I don't even know how to put that, but that's where I'm picking it up like their religious thing is to one up you. Like it's it's it's, it's an everyday ritual. Like people pray every day. This person try to run up you just every day. Every <laughs> this is crazy energy. 
this person's life might be going to shit because they're a taker and like you spend your, your energy so much energy one up in somebody like you could be just making your life better making yourself better craziness yes um I haven't drank drunk green tea lately but somebody needs to drink green tea or this person might like to drink green tea something about bills let's see what we got here about bills oh <laughs> something out here <laughs> I don't even want to say it but blue notes somebody said you're worthy it's another person that likes to drink green tea this on a whole nother energy that I'm picking up this is not about that taker what I was just talking about this is a whole nother energy like somebody think you're worthy like they want to spend money on you like they like you worth every penny like eh. It's, they desire baby they desire to spend money on you like they think you're worthy this person who I'm talking about may love to drink, drink green tea or they think you drink green tea all the time that's why you're so <laughs> I mean green tea is good to make you calm but I don't think that this person think you are like spiritual 11 11 on the clock because you drink <laughs> let me just say this when I didn't have like drink herbs and stuff when I just lived an unhealthy life, so I still had the gifts that I had. This has when someone is truly gifted in the spiritual spiritual way, like I am, I was always attuned to the spiritual world. No matter what I drink or what I eat, I always get messages from the divine. There's no there's no stopping it every which way. So a lot of times, drinking green tea has nothing to do with your ability. It just helps you to stay calm. And a lot of times, you don't need different stuff. To, if you do the inner work, you don't need nothing to make you calm. The Holy Spirit will come in to make you calm. Um, 11.33 on the clock and 11.44 I saw. Um, it, it, that'll make you calm in itself because the Holy, teaches, the Holy Spirit teaches you how to be patient. And people think because you have the Holy Spirit that you're not supposed to cuss, that you can't have, you can't drink or something. Anything else in excess is 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 wasteful. It's, it's 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 a sinful thing. But if you do stuff balanced, it's not a sin. It's, <laughs> people take the Bible as a very strict book, but if you really read the Bible, and really understand it, it's very highly symbolic. And God gives us a lot of leeway. And if you follow the path of the Most High God that He has for you, it'll keep your soul in balance, so other people can't control you. Entities and things that's, that we human beings are not the only thing. Only a uh, race of people are only how can I say entities on this earth there's other beings here like we're not the only ones here so you have to understand when you have the Holy Spirit and, and, and guiding you and leading you they're not going to be able to touch you I don't care how much green tea you got if you don't do the inner work I mean how much green tea you drink you consume if you don't do the inner work I don't it's, <laughs> it's just not going to happen you could just be calm a calm sociopath or calm narcissist like what <laughs> drinking green tea has nothing to do with nothing it just keeps you calm so um spirit said a spiritual practice is very good a lot of see, i know you guys seen that fly in the um camera but i'm sorry you guys uh we live in the desert <laughs> um three 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 on the clock so drinking green tea, I mean, it helps you if you like need to calm down, but it's not something that's going to amp your spiritual abilities up and make you more spiritual if you don't put it into practice. It's just like going to a job. If you put in the work, you're going to get paid. <laughs> so if you practice spirituality, then nine times out of ten, you have some spiritual knowledge. When some of us are born or gifted with these, I was gifted since birth. I could see spirits and talk to them. And just know what they need by off just feeling them and that's just who I am as a person I was born with these gifts nobody gave them to me but the most high God no grains here nothing <laughs> this, is, this is somebody that's that's innocent I, um, innocent this is somebody that's innocent um honey I see you in my camera my daughter is trying to duck around the corner um this is someone that's innocent like they don't really grasp the whole meaning of spirituality they think when somebody say they're spiritual they it has to be like a religious or or something they trying to to rationalize it and the more you rationalize it the more it's going to make you look kind of like playful like that youthful goofy energy like you don't know nothing like that innocent ignorant that 
the innocent anger, ignorant energy. That's what I'm picking up. But they do want to spend money on you. They do think you deserve it. Um, mm. Somebody is trying to replace somebody's baby mama? What? This is weird. Somebody is trying to replace their baby mama or somebody else is trying to stand in somebody else's baby mama's place. You can never do that. Once that woman had that baby, that woman has that baby. Or somebody wants to make you their baby mama. They, oh, oh, they know that they want to replace. They wish you were their baby mama. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my God. Somebody wish you that, that you had gotten pregnant from them, that you were their baby mama. They wish they had clarity on how pretty you really was on the inside. That's what I'm picking up because I got pregnant, replaced, black, clarity, and pretty. So they, they wish they knew that you were pretty like that on the inside else they would have <coughs> put a baby in you. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean the two inches on. <laughs> I ain't gonna put my two cents in that. Somebody is scheming. Who is scheming, spirit? Oh, somebody wants to get you pregnant. Yes. Somebody is scheming. They want, and it's not a bad scheme, man. Somebody really want to get you pregnant. Like, <laughs> this is really wild. Somebody really want to get you pregnant. Oh my God. Like, they're scheming. They say any, anywhere they, they will, <laughs> on site, they going to try to get you pregnant. Wow. But like, it's on site. <laughs> like, as soon as I see you, it's right there. <laughs> wow. OMG, seriously after these is enough. This person is a king or may present themselves as a king or they may be rich. Uh, something about somebody's gas bill. If you have a gas um a uh, gas um stove, furnace, whatever in your house, um something about your gas bill. Let's see. Let's clarify this gas bill. I got some new decks. Let's clarify this gas bill. <sighs> Let's clarify this gas bill. <laughs> I'm using my gypsy deck. Getting here, um, somebody at a gas company may be dead or have ill luck. Maybe somebody at a, I don't know, a corporation was doing some kind of illegal stuff or doing stuff behind the scenes is what I'm getting here. And they have an ill luck or they're going to die or someone close to, to them is going to die. I don't know why I picked that. That's so strange. This person is going to have some kind of disaster or somebody is praying for you to have a disaster with your gas, which are, not the gas bill per se, but the gas itself. Like if you have a home with gas in there, they're praying or wishing or somebody at a company, they're praying that somebody mess up or something and like it just kills, like your gas leaks and it kills you. That That's so crazy. I don't even know why I picked that up. Um, I feel like they wanted to put this into the atmosphere or wanted you to believe this so you would react like they wanted to instill some kind of fear in you. <laughs> they want to instill some kind of fear or some kind of um, lower chakra 
unbalanced BS. Let's just put it that way. You know, if you're in the root chakra, that's your security. And if you don't feel secure, you're insecure. And then it's all kind of fear and all. Y'all get me. All kind of stuff come up. And this is just weird. Somebody just wants you to react. They're putting out like illusions and delusions for you to react. So anything I said through here about um somebody wanting to get you pregnant or something, that's what I'm getting because it came out react anywhere. I think somebody wants you to react to like being stressed about bills and, and things or bad things happening, bad luck happening to you. That's exactly what I'm picking up here. You know, people go out their way to do the weirdest I can't. I wouldn't dare make nothing like this up. This is absolutely People are weird, weird. This I'm not talking about. I know I'm weird, but I, I I like to say I'm unique. I'm unique, but this is weird in a bad way. Like really, you put not illusion delusions to make somebody fearful or somebody scared or somebody like be stuck in their head. That's exactly what I'm getting. So this this is like negative energetic work, moon magic type illusion stuff. You know what I mean? Let's get more from it. This is going to be a bit of a long read just because I haven't been on here a while. And I just want to pick up the energy of for the collective. That's why I'm picking up so much different messages. Please take what resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, please leave what doesn't. And if you just want like to be entertained, you like tarot. Wow. Good luck. <laughs> Hope you're entertained. But this stuff be happening in real life. People do stuff behind the scenes like that for real. Yeah. Somebody know you dead they you don't want to hear from them. You don't want nothing to do with this person who you left behind is in regret. It could be a female or a male. I'm picking up both energies. So collect to take it as a they trying to make it take it as it resonate. They're definitely trying to make a decision about something. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> about being rejected they're trying to make a decision like is this person really going to reject me or not yo <laughs> like do I have a chance oh my gosh so that person that wants to big you <laughs> to get you pregnant yeah they they don't know they they think you might reject them Somebody is resisting a love connection too. Maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody thinks resisting, and it may be true. I'm not. I'm not doubting that. I just got air energy here, and then somebody is in the air. Up in the, something is up in the air. But this person is closed off from um, any type of love, romantic thing, and they they are basically up in the head like. This is somebody that's constantly up in the head, and they're not really living life like they just be in the head, like, and they think that this is self love, just like being in their head all the time. And it's okay to be like I, I like being in my head a lot too, but you actually have to live life too. I live life as well, but this person think that like some it's like self love to like reject people, and that's not all the time true. I, it's the, it's a, depending on the reason why 23, 23 on the clock you reject someone not because it may, or you love yourself you cannot love yourself and still reject people that's not a form of self love only if you're really loving yourself only if you're really trying to heal is that self love <laughs> but if you're doing it just to be an asshole you're just an asshole <laughs> and I'm definitely picking up asshole energy here so so for one, one of my collectives, if somebody that regret the way they treated, they want to contact you, and they feel like if they contact you, that you're going to reject them. The next person that I'm picking up is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they think self love is rejecting people, and that's not what self love is. It's not at all what self love is. Somebody is definitely dealing with this third. This is the third person. Somebody is dealing with their twin flame and they are in a new cycle with this person. Definitely in a new cycle. 24, 24 on the card. How much confirmation do you need? They're going to make this offer. And this person is the. the <laughs> look. Cycles unchanged and completion came out. Twin flames, Venus, the offer, transcendence, unity, 
self-care, self-work, and expectations. Somebody got some ish together. Somebody was going to make up somebody an offer. And they love themselves. They see this the person that self-care, self-love. Like, somebody got it together. Somebody understand what Twin Flames is really about. Somebody actually did the work and heal. So I got one person at the top. The first person I picked up, somebody regret um, something they did to you. They know you're not going to talk to them. And they, they're trying to make a decision whether they should talk to you or not. But they know you're going to reject them. So I'm pretty sure they're going to stay away. The second person I'm picking up is rejecting people because they think it's self-love. It could be a juvenile leave or Aquarius. They think they're closed off because they think it's self love. But self love is really putting in the work. It's really healing. It's the ugly side of healing. And people, excuse me, people think healing is all rainbows and love. No, it's ugly. It's messy. It gets really messy. And it, it looks crazy. And, and, and if you watch it and you're watching somebody heal, it looks crazy. But you have to understand what's going on to understand what the person is going through. If you've never been through a healing process in your life, then you don't understand. Just like if you get a, a big, like a, 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 a um, what you call it? Just say you get a gash in your leg from riding your bike, you fell off and you, it, it's ugly at first, it's open, it's tender, you're crying, you're like hurting, you're in pain, and then day by day it gets better, but sometimes when you peel, you put on your clothes, it peels off and ah, you're back in pain again, it's that process, it's open and closing, open and closing, and I don't see this person actually loving themselves, I feel like they're put, they think just being closed off and self love, and that's not what it is. And it's another person who, well, there's two people here. They are really mirroring each other. They are really twin flames. They understand their words, both self-care. They understand the whole dynamic. And it's an offer right in the middle. Like, this is beautiful. So I'm picking up three different <laughs> stories here. This is really beautiful. I'm sorry, my kids is over here in the background. They got to be quiet. So you might hear my daughter whispering. But anyways, um, <laughs> this is beautiful too. This this third couple, y'all y'all is a couple for real. This uh this this the first two. These are two separate people. This bottom one is a couple. It's so beautiful too. It's beautiful imagery. Yeah, and they're just having thoughts about each other. Like they're. It's almost telepathic. So you told me to shut up. So I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> that twin flame thing is really beautiful. So let's get an advice card for the whole collective spirit. Give me one of these advice cards. Two, three. How many of you gonna give me for my collective? There's one. Yep. And there's three. And the number thirty-three dropped out. That was the last one that dropped out. This is a sign of highly vibrating transformation. You have the courage to work out your creative and self-expressions with no doubts. Anticipate. There should be a few challenges or obstacles awaiting for you on the way to success. By anticipating these ones, you will absolutely, absolutely soften the problem and get more decisive about the solutions. 11 11 twin flame numbers angels are watching and guiding you to bring you up angels are watching and guiding you to bring out your highest self most importantly keep up your good work and have faith yo <laughs> when i tell you um because you all know i have so many and i have a twin flame all of us don't have twin flames all of us have so many stuff. So, I've dealt with my soulmates. I dealt with my twin flame. I have dealt with kindred spirits, and it's quite beautiful. Kindred spirits will make you comfortable. You all see that fly? It's, it's, it's really getting on my nerves. It will make you very comfortable because they're so understanding and they're like. It's this beautiful connection because y'all are kindred spirits. You understand each other. It's a cool vibe. And my, half of the time, my kindred spirits, I don't talk to them for years and years at the time. Then we come back together. It's like we never left. 
Okay, so that's number one. Number two, your twin flame can bring the best out you or the worst out you. Twin flame relationships can bring the best out you and the worst out you. They will break you down and build you up both all at the same time. You'll be like, what the heck? And you really have to be in touch with your higher self, with your spirit guides, and with your twin flame to understand the whole dynamic. Because if you're not, you're going to be confused and all over the place. Um, and a soulmate, soulmate comes in many different forms. Romantic, family, all their different forms. I, I only experience most of my soulmate through a romantic connection. And I have had beautiful times with some of my soulmates and some of them not so beautiful so i said that to say this understand the connections that you're in understand the people you're entertaining and the spirits behind the people you're entertaining because that will determine what how when where that everything will take place when you when you're on the learning journey to learn these things don't be afraid to make a mistake because trust me along my path i made plenty of mistakes and people think I'm perfect and I'm not. I made plenty of mistakes. But God, the love of God will cover your mistakes because you were innocent. You didn't do it intentionally. You were learning. And when you, when I, one thing I know about learning, they, they don't hold it against you. As long as you don't do it no more, you're like, okay, I did that. That's wrong. Boom. It's, that's what repentance is. It's not like you have to, Jesus, please forgive me. No, you forgive yourself. You put it on, like, I'm, I know I'm not going to do that no more. Let me move on to something else. It's just a simple. People make it so hard, and it's not. It's just not because people don't want to do right. And so that's my clock on the dot. <laughs> yeah, wood now, beauty. See the beauty in everything. See if you can see the beauty in everything, even when stuff look. I know, like stuff don't look so. This dang old fly. So hard for me. And like I wasn't going to complete a task. But I kept the faith anyway. Sometimes you know you get knocked down the face. And God said he'll have his angels to come lift you back up. And they will. They will inspire you. They will lift you back up. Not to say I have never lost faith. But I have. But the thing is to keep at it. Don't give up. Because when you give up. That's when you lost. And you got to start all over again. Because you don't know where you at. Yeah. You don't know where you at. The beauty is number 52. I'm just going to read this. I'm going to close it out because I just read it. It's a little long. Radiant glorious beauty is within you. Let beauty be your north star. It's so beautiful. I like this. To guide you. What feels as well what feels as well as what looks lovely will sustain and nourish you. Okay, your ability to see inner depths around you is in, is in direct correlation with a remarkable, scrumptious life. Create harmony and peace within your home, even doing so in small ways, such as a vase of flowers, scented, uh, scented candle lit bath can make a difference. So someone need to relax, take a break. <laughs> And that whoever's having creative problems that will open up a lot of times when I get creative lights that I go take a spiritual bath and I just tune everything out of my life it opens me right up. Relax and surround yourself with comfortable and elegance. Okay. The more you acknowledge beauty in your environment and yourself and others, the more it will fill your heart, uh, fill your life and your heart. True. Open that heart chakra right up. You are truly and utterly gorgeous and lovable. You are. As you cherish yourself, the luminous around you will grow. Yes. The nymphs of ancient Greek folklore are beautiful supernatural beings of the forest. Their appearance here symbolizes that your own beauty, both inner and outer, is growing. So I'm going to get fine inside and out. I, I see you. There are many accounts of travelers walking through a forest and seeing wood nymphs bathing in the sunlight in a grotto or next to a stream or pool, singing or dancing. Follow the example of the nymphs. Relax. Spend time in nature. Sing and dance with joy. I, that, I, I, I feel like that's kind of for me because I used to sing and dance like every weekend. It was my ritual. And since I have um, moved and came into my new place, I mean, I do it here and there, but I, I need to do it more. I'm telling you, the more you see life as beautiful, then you will live in heaven. 
the more you see things as um, challenges as okay let me just find a solution or just being creative to find a solution for the problem you're like oh okay that's all it took it didn't expand your mind it grows your mind you don't only use 10 percent of your brain you start using 11 percent 12 percent 13 percent 14 percent 15 percent and that's how you grow your genius so you won't be stuck here in the next cycle doing the same donuts that you was doing yeah i'm all about not doing donuts if i do it one or two thousand times the third time it should knock it out the park. <laughs> That's my motto. Like I give myself time, but I also give myself, you know, like a standard. Like, you know, we can't just be, you know, some people just like, oh, I'm getting this out. Jesus says forgive me. No. Get this itch right now so you won't be going through karma like that and again. But people don't think like that. They don't think like that. They like, uh, it's a pleasure thing. It's for the moment. Me, I think about the long run, like where I want to be, how I want this to be. So I just be like, let me go ahead and knock this out now. If I knock it out now, I'm going to do it later. The Capricorn in me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Peace.